Summer Reading This summer looks to be a time of rereading. Right now I'm reading While Time Thinks of Other Things by Nicholas Radstrom. I read it when it came out in 1992 and it was a book that gripped me deeply. I think it's just as good now as it was then. After it waits the moon does not know by the same author. Also, a childhood depiction of growing up and understanding that everything is impermanent and changeable. The two books are linked to each other in their melancholy and in their beautiful language. Nicholas Radstrom has a fantastic ability to write from a child's perspective, which I find quite unusual. At the same time, I am reading The Space Epic Any Era by Harry Martinson, also a book I read many years ago. An existential epic written in verse, about the spaceship Any Era which is forced out of its course towards Mars and instead drifts out into an endless, dark and cold universe straight towards the constellation Lyran. Today I received a book by O. Wickstrom, I'll Just a Smile, a book about seeking spirituality in works of fiction. It was that book that once made me read Any Era. I look forward to reading it again. A fairly new book that is in the summer book pile is Trees, Love and Other Plants, Lab Girl, by and Hope Jaron. I got it as a present from a good friend and it will be interesting to read. For a while now, I've also been reading Leonard Cohen's debut novel Alsklingsleken, which came out in Swedish translation in 1970. It came out the year between his two album Songs from a Room and Songs of Love and Hate. The novel is not quite as good as the records, but Cohen is always Cohen and he writes well. I recently read Rebecca Solnit's excellent Get Lost. A field manual. It fits into only 216 pages but contains so much wisdom and interesting thoughts that I think it needs to be read several times. I can warmly recommend rereading novels for those who are not already doing so. I can understand that you don't reread crime novels and detective stories, perhaps that goes without saying, but many books benefit from a reread. I have several favorites that I've read so many times I've lost count. Some of them I now experience as a home to return to. In addition, you often discover new things in the books that you might not have understood or attached so much importance to when you first read them. Finally, I will read a Danish grammar book I recently received from Lang. I am a great lover of the Danish language and it will be fun to learn more about it now. It feels like a good book summer. Matthias is an author, editor and illustrator. Thank you for listening to or watching this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe.